welcome to Annex Dinner Table. I'm Cassandra and today I'm going to teach you how to play Planetarium by Stephanie Vatcon. Well, let's get into it. Place the board in the middle of the table with enough space to play cards on all four sides. Give all players a player board. Then have them choose their player color and collect the eight square and two hexagonal player markers of that color. Keep the eight square player tokens near the player board. They will denote your cards later in the game. Place the two hexagonal player markers on the zero spot of the score track for both tens and ones. Place the four planet tokens on their designated spot on the board, indicated by a white circle and a corresponding letter. Turn all the matter tokens face down on the table or into a cloth bag. Randomly select and place one matter token on each of the remaining white circles on the board. Once all the tokens are placed, flip them face up. Place one of these habitable hostile tokens, hostile side up, in the circle on the planet in each corner. There are three different decks, the low evolution, the high evolution, and the final evolution. Individually shuffle and place each deck near the board. Have each player draw two cards from each deck. They will need to choose between the two final evolution cards, discarding the other to the final evolution discard pile. The player who discarded the card with the highest score gets to go first. Setup is now complete. Each player's turn can have three parts. Move one token on the board, play a card, and draw a card if one has been played. You will move one token per turn. It can be either a planet or a matter token. At the start of the game, matter tokens move one space per turn. They must move in a clockwise orbit and can follow either the thick or thin orbit lines. Matter tokens cannot collide with other matter tokens. Planet tokens can also move one space along the thin orbit line. However, they can move any number of spaces along a thick orbit line until they collide with a matter token. Planet tokens cannot collide with other planet tokens. However, when planets are following thick orbit lines, they can just skip over a space with another planet. When a matter token crashes into a planet, or when a planet runs into a matter token, the matter token moves to that planet's part of the player board. These matter tokens are only usable for that planet. Until the last round, each player can only play a single low or high evolution card. The required matter tokens are listed on the left hand edge of the evolution card. The planet you wish to play the card on must have collected the required matter tokens on its section of your player board. Some cards also have extra requirements. If the planet is hospitable or hostile, where the planet's thick orbit line falls, which type of planet it is as denoted on your player board, are some examples of other possible requirements you might see. Move each matter token from your player board to the next spot on the evolution track. The card goes along the board on that planet's side with one of your player markers on it. If you run out of player markers, you can move a marker from a previously played card or play it without a marker. However, placement of those player markers is strategic as final evolution cards can only be played on cards with your marker on it. Collect the number of points indicated on the played card and add these points to your score marker. Next, check if the planet's hospitable status has changed. Add up the score of all the cards with a hostile border and compare it to the total score of all cards with a hospitable border. If the higher number is different from the planet's current status, flip the planet's habitable hostile token to the other side. If it was a tie, the planet's status doesn't change. 
There are two other symbols you might see on a card, the gravity symbol or a downgrade symbol. When a card with the gravity symbol is played, that player can take a matter token from anywhere on the board and place it on any planet on their player board. A card with the downgrade symbol may be discarded instead of being played, letting the player draw a new low evolution card. That player cannot play another card on this turn. You should always have five cards in your hand. So if you have played a card, draw either a high or low evolution card, or draw two final evolution cards and choose one for your hand, discarding the other. You can also only have four final evolution cards in your hand at a time. If you run out of cards in any of the decks, shuffle the discard to create a new draw deck. If there are no discards of that type, you can no longer draw that type of card. When you place a token on the acceleration spot of the evolution track represented by this symbol, you have entered the acceleration phase. Matter tokens are now able to move one or two spaces. This signals you are getting near the final turn of the game. The final turn is triggered when a matter token is placed on the larger circle of the evolution track. That player does not draw any additional cards, but instead plays any final evolution cards that they can, scoring these cards as they are played. This ends that player's turn and begins the final round. The rest of the players take their final turn, starting with moving a token and possibly playing a card. Then they too play any final evolution cards. All final evolution cards have this symbol. When playing a card with this symbol, a player marker from another card on that planet must be moved to the final evolution card. You can only play as many final evolution cards on a planet as you have player markers on that planet. After the final round, the player with the most points is the winner. Ties are broken first by most remaining matter tokens, then most player markers remaining on cards, and finally the fewest cards left in a player's hand. You are now ready to play Planetarium. So that was how to play Planetarium. It's a super fun one with a lot of complex strategy. If you have any fun games that you want us to play, let us know down in the comments. As always, if you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get reminders of our newest videos.